The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head softball coach Vicki Kazee Hollifield. Vic, quality doubleheader sweep uh, at home on Monday against the Erskine Flying Fleet. Take game 1 2 nothing before you walk off with a run rule win in game 2 8 nothing. Uh, 12 innings of shutout work for your pitching staff. What was working in the circle between Sarah Howard and Danielle Kranz? Well, again, they were uh, ahead in the count. I mean, getting a lot of first strikes, so uh, that's always good for us. And, and always a key component is getting that first out every inning, and uh, I, I like it when we do that. Yeah, only one leadoff batter reaches the entire series for, for the Flying Fleet. Kranz got in a couple jams in game two. Uh, what did you like about her ability to get out of the a bases loaded affair and then runners on the corners with two out? Well, I think a couple times she got a couple big strikeouts. But again, our defense is playing better. And uh, it's the same thing at Lenore Ryan. We got in a couple binds with the runner at second. But we're just able to either get the ground ball or a nice fly ball. So again, just, just pitching pretty good right now. Pitching pretty good, flawless defense go back to the first meeting on February 13th you had a combined eight errors between the two games this one two goose eggs in the final column of the line score what's it mean that uh, here a month and a half after that double header in due west you play flawless defense Sure, I, I think we're headed in the right direction. Our, our defense, as you mentioned, is playing a lot better. I think we're pitching better at, at this point. And uh, they have, um, you know, Aline uh, Hawkins, she, she calls it a good game. I mean, you have to work. So um, I think we, you know, went, went to the plate thinking we're going to swing at good pitches today. And I think that was a difference maker for us. Yeah, Danica Newton in the first uh, meeting had nine strikeouts. She only fans two. Uh, in her outing, what adjustments did your batters make? Well, again, she she likes to throw those uh, strikes, so to speak, that look like strikes but aren't, and and we went after way too many out of the zone. So that was really what we were focused on in that first game, and and, and she's a tough pitcher to hit. Elena Siebert continues her string of games hitting the ball well, 12 straight uh, games where she's re reached ba base successfully with a base hit. Uh, Ever since really the move to short, she's been tagging the ball pretty well. What, what is it that she's doing uh, to continue to successfully reach safely? I think she's just more aggressive. Uh, I think her confidence level's gone up, going after good pitches, but she's swinging aggressively. And, you know, a couple of times they went around her, so what you have to do to, to keep that on us is, is for that number four batter to come up, just like Brooke did in that last inning, and, and get a you know base hit and, and score a run. So uh, that's what they're all capable of doing. So uh, I, I like the direction we're headed in. How big is it, too, to not have a letdown? Huge doubleheader sweep Saturday over LR, and you come right out and are firing on all cylinders here on a Monday. Right. I, and I was a little worried about that, but, uh, you know, when you're playing good defense, not making errors, when your pitchers are only giving up one or two hits, you can't say a lot. But, you know, you still got to work when you're at the plate, um, you know, and, and the more runs we score, uh, that intensity level naturally comes up. So, uh, but I, I thought they came on strong there at the end, and, and we know that that's what we've got to do for LMU on Wednesday. Improvements that you need to make with a quick turnaround for the rail splitters. I think we just got to stay the course. I really do. I, I like the way they're playing. I, I like their energy. Uh, and I think their confidence is, is back. And, and that's what you want this time of year. Vicki, thanks for the time. Congrats on the sweep. Thanks, Adam. Carson Newman, head softball coach Vicki Kazee Hollifield. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. And this is CNEagles.com.